for all the important things in our lives that we never want to lose and can't do without. There's Tile, this simple little device that helps you find anything. Attach Tile to your things and finding them is easy. Ring your wallet to find it wherever it's hiding or use the Tile app to see where you left your car on a map. If it's your phone that you're looking for, press the button on any of your tiles and your phone will ring, even when on silent. And if you lose your wallet and it isn't where you last had it, Tile can still help you find it. Just ask to be notified when your wallet is found. And when any user in Tile's global network comes within range of your missing wallet, the Tile app will notify you of its most recent location. Tile, the simple, easy way to find the things that matter. Get Tile now and join the millions of Tile users who find peace of mind every day. Tile, find what matters. What if it was simple to use a regular pen and paper notebook while saving everything in the cloud, perfectly organized the way you want? And what if after you saved your notes in the cloud and filled your paper notebook, you could just erase it with the push of a button and use it again? That's not magic. That's the Rocketbook Wave Notebook. With the Wave Notebook and the Rocketbook app, you instantly blast your notes into the cloud using your mobile device. In a fraction of a second, Rocketbook Machine Vision scans, enhances, and sends each page to the specific destination they belong on the cloud services you already use. Each Wave Notebook page has seven symbols. Set up the Rocketbook app to assign each symbol to a location within Dropbox, Google Docs, Evernote, OneNote, or simply to your email inbox. Let's see how Jake has his set up. He marks the diamond symbol and the Rocketbook app sends the notes to his customer meetings notes in Evernote. When he's brainstorming, he marks the star symbol, which he decided are for the notes that belong in his ideas folder in Google Docs. Now that your notes are in the cloud, when your notebook is filled, there's no need to go buy another book or let used notebooks clutter your life. Here's how you can reuse your Wave notebook multiple times with the mere push of a button. Take your notes using Friction Pilot pens, available in many office supply stores and Amazon.com. Friction Pilot ink turns clear under heat, and the Wave Notebook is specially designed to be microwave safe. That means you can clear your entire Wave Notebook in your microwave in the same amount of time it takes to make a cup of tea. When our specially designed thermal logo on the cover turns from blue to white, your Wave Notebook has been cleared and is ready to be reused. And with your notes in the cloud, an empty notebook has endless possibilities. The utility of the cloud and the joy of pen and paper. That's Rocketbook. Let's be honest, upgrading your home is hard. Home automation should be easy, but today's products are difficult to install and use. That's why we created SwitchMate. SwitchMate turns your current light switch into a smart switch. Simply install it with a snap and control it from your phone. Or a tap. Simple, right? SwitchMate attaches with magnets, which means no rewiring or modifying your switches. Perfect if you're renting or on the move. With SwitchMate, you can set timers for your lights to come on when you're away from home. 
It's simple to control any device powered by a light switch. For the additional ability to control your lights from anywhere, an optional hub can be added. And finally, the comfort of knowing that you never have to come home to a dark house again. So let's make our home smarter, one switch at a time, starting with yours. Alright, so right off the back, this is not something you would buy for sound quality, but rather for showcase, a conversation piece, the wow factor, which I think it's best suitable for office or desk environments. When a product looks this fancy, 9 times out of 10, that's its strongest selling point. In fact, there's not too much detail about the speaker specs itself, besides the fact that it's only 5 watts, which that alone says a lot. But despite that, I think for what it is, it still sounds pretty decent. The speaker itself looks kind of like a Pokeball. If you've ever watched the cartoon Pokemon, you know what I'm talking about. It has a little weight to it, and that's largely due to the huge magnet on the bottom half of the device. I really like the blue LED accents, like the ring that glows around it, which is one of the first things that attracted me to it. Your speaker grills run across the top, with the actual speaker itself visible on the inside. On the body, you have a micro USB port for charging that sits right in between a power button and a Bluetooth button. And by charging, you can use it as a standalone speaker and do away with the bass, if you choose to do so, of course. The bass is just an accessory. The speaker even comes with a carrying pouch, but this thing sheds fabric like crazy, and I will not be using this pouch. To power it on, you press and hold the power button, and the same goes for the Bluetooth button if you want to manually pair it up. Despite the speaker looking as if it came out of a Star Wars movie, it gets pretty darn loud. But not much bass comes out this guy. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some more thumps here and there, like when listening to hip hop for example, you hear the beats, but it's definitely not impressive to music lovers like me. They do advertise that you get a sort of 3D surround sound effect when the speaker is spinning, but I didn't hear any difference. Alright, so let's get to the fun part, the actual levitation. The magnetic base has a brushed aluminum surface that's sort of satisfying to the touch if you ask me. It features four blue decorative LEDs that light up when it's plugged in, but these LEDs are also used as a guide to help you align it properly, with the center being the sweet spot. When all four LEDs are solid, it'll begin to suspend in the air thanks to its powerful magnet technology. When it's levitating, the momentum of the magnets allow it to spin on its own. And it just looks mesmerizing. I can't stress it enough. But you do have to play with it a little to get it there in the first place, because the magnets on the base are really, really, really strong. It basically snatches the speaker out of your hand. It actually scared me because when you powered the base off, the speaker snaps back to the surface with a tremendous amount of force. It's a little frustrating to handle, it's like a game to get it right. It takes practice, but I found that it's best to use two hands when aligning it. Now I can see why the strong magnets are necessary to achieve such an effect, but it's something that concerns me because I can't help but feel that the base will eventually get damaged over time, given the amount of force it consistently hits it. So that's something I'll have to look out for. Now what is pretty sweet though is that the speaker itself is equipped with NFC right up top center on the blue LED. So that's a huge plus when it comes to ease of pairing, and one that I'm quite happy about. You also get a kind of 2-in-1 product here, as the magnetic base is also a charging station, with a USB 2.0 port. Now as far as battery is concerned, it's a 1500mAh battery, and it's advertised for around 10 hours of playback time. And I'm here to say that it actually performs close to it. I got an average of around 8 hours of use at a pretty decent volume, just a little bit more than halfway. Speaking of volume, I wish there were some volume buttons on the speaker itself. That's something I would have really liked to see. There's also no speakerphone capabilities, which I think would have been useful as well. 
overall it's a really impressive setup and I'm always fond of futuristic style technology. I think they nailed this effect and I do hope to see more mainstream speakers from top manufacturers use this technology. I think that'd be interesting to see.